So, a little update on uh, Darcy's Corner, Darcy's World, I guess. I literally have three job interviews now for three different construction companies. Two of them are uh, in Edmonton, or one's actually in Morinville, uh, but whatever, it's, it, they classify themselves as Edmonton. And the other one is in, uh, in Red Deer. So, I just got to make it, like, through the month. <laughs> And then I'll be working, and these guys are offering the same deal. He was like, "Yeah, it's a lot of out of town work, and we'll put you in hotels, and we'll pay you sub." And so, like you know, all the stuff I did last year, except this year, I'm ready for it. So this year, I've got supplies. <laughs> I'll bring water coolers, and I'll bring uh, some of the tools that I may or may not need while I'm there. Like I'll. You know, this year I'm going to be set up. Last year was a lot of scrambling for stuff because I didn't know I was going to need it until I needed it. And it was very frustrating. So, because it got to be expensive. Because if I had to buy a cooler, that could be like 50 bucks. And it's just a water cooler. But I had to go buy that or I wasn't going to have water. Hopefully these guys will provide water. But if they don't, I've already got the, the tools, the supplies. I don't have to go buy it again. I can just throw it in my vehicle. So, I don't know what's going to happen for sure, but I am very hopeful. And I've had several people now inquire about the room. So, that's good. Like, I can get the room rented out. That'll reduce the rent. And there'll be a dog sitter. And, you know, it's. It's tough, and, like, I am um, holding on by my fingernails trying to get through to this next job, but it's coming. As you can see, I'm kind of in man mode. Well, I'm half in man mode. I didn't have any jeans, and I got to go to the job interview here pretty soon. My jeans are in the dryer. <laughs> but I'll just, you know, put on my masculine face for now, and uh, we'll feel out the situation. And if things go well, then I'll let them know. And if they don't, then I'll just, you know, uh, try to suck it up for a bit, as long as I can. It's weird how the dysphoria, like, hurts after a little while, and it, it messes with your head. But, uh, anyway, I have jobs. I have an income coming. I was so stressed. And I mean, I'm, I'm still stressed, and I'm really upset over over that that girl that um, I offended because I care a lot for her, and it's sad that she now is spouting all kinds of crazy stuff. Like I don't know, it's crazy, and it's not me, and that just you know she has a mental issue, and it's affecting her. I'm, I am sad about that. I'm really sad about that. I accept it. Spec space, let her go, but I'm sad about it. But it is what it is, and I can't do anything about that. But what I can do is go get a job, get my house in order, got my place cleaned up a little bit today. I'm going to do my taxes here so that hopefully I'll get some money back from that. We'll see. And my EI should be here shortly. By the time it gets here, I'll have started the other job. <laughs> but I'll still get that one EI check. And then I'll tell them I don't need it anymore because I'm working now. Anyway. Darcy's Corner. Life sucks. But there's a way through. Peace.